if I were you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I know you're scared. I'd be too. If I were you. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Grind Time. We're going to be talking about in the trenches, and we're going to talk about the offensive side of the ball because right now I'm a little less concerned about the defensive line, but the offensive line, I'm really concerned. After Saturday, just, just in general, nothing was addressed. In the off season, what we're seeing during the preseason is the same old stuff. Didn't feel like cursing right now. But first of all, let's start off with the right guard situation. And Ingram, he didn't even play in Saturday versus the Titans, which is... <laughs> Good, because I think we'd have been just talking about that right now. But I, I, I do want to say, um, let me pull up his name real quick. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Blake Brandle. He did show some light. So he could be a in-house upgrade for Ingram. But. Why don't we go take a look at Joe Haig? Right guard out of Cleveland, Minnesota boy. Let's bring him home. You know, get him on that veteran minimum, one year contract, just a band aid until we go get who I want, Cooper BB from Kansas State in the first round or second round. But our interior office line. And now, even um, Udo is giving me, <laughs> oh, my goodness, come on. I mean, if O'Neal isn't fully healthy and ready to go by week one, can we really trust Udo to do the job? I mean, be realistic. I mean. Our offense is built to be, our team right now is built to be, we're going to have to be in shootouts with games. And our offense is going to have to score a lot of points, and hopefully our defense is going to keep the other team from scoring more points than us. And right now, I don't think our offensive line is going to help us do that. If O'Neal is hurt, I do not trust Udo to be that guy to get us where we need. Ingram, everybody says, oh, he, it's second year, time to adjust, but we don't have that time right now. If, we, if, if we're in a competitive rebuild, as they want to call it, we don't have that time right now. We need to, let's, get a, let's get a veteran in for a year. Hold that spot down and let Ingram get time to develop. I think that would make more sense than keep rushing him out there, him looking bad, and us turning on him. Let's get a veteran in there to hold the position down for a year, give him time to develop this year, and be a backup if need be. But he needs more time. And on the left guard position, I don't know what's going on, but this man should be in the building. He should be practicing with the team right now, Dalton Reisner. He should have never left the facility without a contract. I don't care if he wanted a guaranteed starting position. I don't care if he wanted twin bunk beds. I don't care if he wanted free tater tot hot dish 
while living in Minnesota, he should have never left the building without his contract being signed. That's my opinion. Because at this point, we need the left guard and the right guard sealed up. We're not even going to get in the Bradbury. Y'all know how I feel about that. That that video. Yeah. But, yeah, we need to shore up the left guard, right guard, right now. Since nothing was done this whole offseason about it. And I want to bring up another concern. Our number one gripe has been that our offense goes missing for two to three quarters of a football game. If that is the case, why in the hell are none of our starters playing? I mean, you could go, oh, Yogi, you don't want him to get hurt. This is football. At some point, there's always a risk of getting hurt. But if we're going to start off the season right, I mean, if Patrick Mahomes and them Super Bowl champs could go out for a couple of series just to get that rhythm and that co continuity in real live game situation, what what makes the Vikings so special that they don't think they need it? Because as we saw last year, we actually do need need it because we go missing two to three quarters on our offense. So that's my take. We need to, it's, <laughs> it seems like it's better late than never, but we need to address our inter interior offensive line. Maybe we're going to be waiting until the 90 man cut down to 53 because it just goes from 90, then boom, then there'll be people out there. But all I know is we better do something. Drop a comment. What do you think? How do you feel about our interior offensive line? Or even the O'Neal situation, because we all know Darisaw, dog. But let me know. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. If I were you. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I know you're scared. Yeah. I do too. If I were you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You better bring your eight.